Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I thought I would do a little get ready with me today for this look. So if you wanna see how I do my makeup, then keep watching. Also partnering up with HelloFresh in this video they are sponsoring this video today and I have a discount code ready for you in the description box and on screen now I have three fantastic meals to choose from this month so I thought I would show you what our options are and you can write in the comments which one you would choose so first up we've got the easy gochujang pulled pork tacos with oven ready roasted veg and feta this only takes 30 to 35 minutes to cook then we've got the peri peri halloumi skewers and sticky chicken with chips, creamy lime, baby gem and mango. That looks so good. And then finally, this one looks epic, look at this. Island's crispy chicken burger with spice bag chips and sriracha mayo. So let me know which one you would choose and if you want to have a go for yourself and get a discount on your latest box, then just visit my link down below. But if you want to see how I do my makeup, then just keep watching. So this is what we're starting with. I'm slightly, well, I am hormonal at the moment. It's my time of the month, so I've got a few little like blemishes going on, which I will typically get around that time of the month. You can't control it. Um, um, but what I am going to do first is moisturise. I'm going in with the Inky List Bioactive Ceramide Repairing and Plumping Moisturiser. I mentioned this on my favourites recently and I repurchased it again because I just really noticed a difference to my skin after I'd stopped using it. Especially while the weather's not so great and I'm super dry. I've also found that since I have really upped how much I exercise and things like that, that I think maybe I'm not hydrating myself enough afterwards and it's having a bit of an impact on my skin because I do think I'm dehydrated so I need to work on that but this the second I put it on it is just oh it feels so good I don't know about you but I love the feeling of putting moisturizer on I feel like my skin just slips it all up. Uh, so that is my base and I'm gonna let that sink in for a couple of minutes and then we'll go on to my next step, which is SPF. Now you should be wearing this anyway. And a lot of the time when I do my makeup videos, I never really show like the skincare element beforehand. Obviously I start with clean skin and things like that, but I always do a moisturizer and then you're gonna go in with SPF. This is the Skin and Me one, they did send me this and I have been using it religiously. What I love about it is it's such a nice base for makeup because some SPFs as well break me out like, really badly. But this, I mean, you can tell it's well loved. Look at the state of it, the poor thing, but I really like it, really, really like it. I've also been sent the Garnier Vitamin C Daily UV Invisible, but I kind of want to finish the one that I've already got first because it just makes good sense, especially because SPF has a shelf life. So I'm just gonna, oh, I've got some on my finger. I'm just going to massage that into my skin as well and this is the best thing you can do to target aging of the skin just generally protect your skin and um i just wear it every day without fail and what i like about the skin of me one as i mentioned before is that it just makes a really good base for my makeup to go on to so now that's all sunken into the skin i'm going to go in with the glow hub angel beam this is basically like a highlighter base of sorts you know similar to the charlotte tilbury one the elf one there are so many of them the ekin sue for example this looks like this is quite a bit lighter than the others and I'm actually quite a big fan of this. The only thing that I will say is that I absolutely hate the packaging because all the silver has come off the lid and you get little silver flecks everywhere. Plus it can be quite hard to squeeze out if you are arthritic like me. Like look at my fingers now. You see all the little silver flecks. It's just not really what you want when you're using your hands to rub makeup into your face. Right, so now I'm just gonna rub this into the skin. This is something that I will use my fingers for a lot of the time just because I feel like it works best that way and it just gives you a bit of a glow underneath your makeup which as I'm getting older my normally oily skin is getting drier which is very normal 
and it's just sort of adapting to that as you age with products that can kind of do a different job i used to be really about mattifying and all of that whereas now i'm all about the glow now on top of that we've got foundation and this is the be perfect chroma cover soft filter luminous foundation it's medium coverage i wear the shade n3 which is a really good match for me i've been really into sort of my color seasons at the moment now i feel like i've got quite a tricky sort of face and tone to place because i've got green eyes um i do tan quite well but i do get some redness and I suit warm toned, like makeup a lot of the time, but clothing, if you put me in a lilac or a pink, which is what I'm wearing now, it immediately, like it will neutralize like the texture on my face and the redness on my face, makes my eyes pop more. I find if you put me in something like brown or red, it's awful on me. I'm leaning towards the fact that I think I may be a summer. Um, but I'm definitely a summer or a winter girl. But what I've also realized is that this can impact on the tones of your foundations as well. So I have W3 here, which is the warm toned one. Excuse my washing machine finishing there. And sometimes I feel like that's just slightly too warm on my skin. And then N3 is what I'm using. Whereas I've tried the C3 as well, the cooler tone and that's just not right at all that makes me look quite like ghastly um so i think that the reason why i find it tricky sometimes to place where i am color wise is that i do have quite a neutral undertone to a lot of me like i've got dark hair but i also tan and then i've got green eyes i don't have dark eyes and like sometimes some of those elements can contradict themselves within the color seasons but have you ever had colour analysis done? If you have, let me know how it went for you. Do you find it useful? I'm just trying to sort of do it on my own because I can't really justify going to a specialist and paying money for them to tell me that I look good in pink when I kind of feel like I know that I look good in pink. Um, but I would love to hear your experiences and what you think I am. I'm just dabbing this in with a damp um, marshmallow sponge here. It's basically like a beauty blender. And I'm just pushing that into the skin just to even out my complexion so if i come up close here you can kind of see now that everything's just quite consistent and my breakouts will still need a bit of coverage and then i always have quite dark circles anyway it's genetic i think so i also have the be perfect concealer that goes with that foundation and i've got m2 I think I went for this shade because it was like one of few left that I felt like I could work with. But honestly, I feel like it's too light. But I do have some dregs of my NARS Creamy Concealer in Custard left, which I think I'm going to use today. Because this hormonal spot here needs some serious covering. It's just not a vibe. I have noticed as well, like I said before, that exercise has made my skin a bit drier sometimes because I don't think I'm hydrating myself properly afterwards. Um, I've also noticed that it can tend to give me personally like more breakouts because I do the school run, I walk to the gym, I do my workout and then I walk home. I think by the time I get home and I've done that walk, like the sweat's kind of settled into my skin and I think that might be what is causing it because i think i have skin that clogs very easily oh i'm really running low with this concealer um but what i might do is start taking some face wipes with me just to give myself an initial wipe down keep them in my bag because it's just not it's not nice i'm going to put a little bit of this be perfect concealer just under my eyes because it is you can see the difference like lighter in the middle now because um it is just slightly too light for me i think but i will still try and use it when that nars has fully run out but i'm just going to tap that into my skin very gently especially in the under eye area which as you get older is more prone to creasing and sagging so we want to be really gentle now i'm going in with all these powder this is just the beauty crop vitamin bake one i wouldn't have said it's like mind-blowingly brilliant but it's the one that i've got and i'm just sort of using it up really and um, i've just got a little puff and i'm going to set under my eyes first to prevent any creasing and it also sets that makeup because obviously my dark circles are quite bad and then I'm just going to take a little bit along my T-zone 
and then the excess kind of just goes on my cheeks but there's not loads because I just don't find that I need it as much anymore and I don't really like that powdery finish oh that spot is so horrible I mean you might not be able to see it as well as I can but I'm hyper fixating on it and I don't like it but now I'm going to move on to contour and blush and I have had so many questions recently mainly on Instagram because where I'm more active about like what I'm using on like my cheeks and stuff um because it's got like a nice glow and it is this which is the made by Mitchell curve case I got this in I think it's boxing day sale and it looks like this and it's very Reminds me a bit of, you know, makeup that you could get in the 90s when you were a kid and you want to kind of practice yourself. Daisy's got a couple of sets that are quite similar, but the pigmentation is crazy. And because it's a cream product, I just find that, again, that kind of adds to that more like fresh, glowy, youthful appearance as opposed to putting more powder layers on like I perhaps would have done when I was younger. So I'm going to go in with this darker shade here. And I literally just tap very lightly. We're not like smushing or smearing. And then I am going to start to contour. And it's just a little bit at a time and you can build it up because these are so pigmented that if you like really swipe in, you are going to get a massive line. And I'm just going to buff that into my face and I'm going to do the E and 3 technique. Um, I just like to do this because I just feel like it adds some definition into my face and I just like the way it looks on me. And then once that's done, I'm going to probably use a little bit of this one and a little bit of this one here, like the blushes, like with a flat bottom brush here and just kind of dab that into the apples of my cheeks. And again, you just need the tiniest amount and you can just build it up. But that is like my blush and my contour done. What I like about this is that when you're traveling as well, you can just like chuck it in and it's all just in one product and it's super slim. Um, really, really good little piece of kit. So now I'm gonna go on to my eye makeup. This is the NARS Orgasm eyeshadow palette and it's really old as you can see, but I've been trying to sort of keep in mind the kind of pinky tones and, and work from that. Plus I'm wearing pink today. So I'm gonna take this pink shade here and I'm gonna just gonna use this sort of in my crease and on the outer corner of my lid just to add a bit of dimension in there and warm things up a little bit. And if you've seen my videos where I do my makeup before, this isn't professional makeup, this is how I do my makeup and it has to be quick and easy and something I can get done in a time frame that suits me without any fuss. So I kind of go in with a brush like that and then I will just very quickly take a fluffy brush and then blend that out into my lid because as much as I would love to be able to take lots of time over blending and adding lots of different layers, I just don't have that time. You see this lighter champagne shade here. I'm just gonna go over the top of that a little bit, but just focus more kind of on the direct inner corner just to sort of brighten things up. And then we're gonna move on to eyeliner. So sometimes I use brown when I'm feeling it, and then sometimes I'll use black. It just kind of depends what mood I'm in. This is the NYX Epic Ink eyeliner that I'm going to use and I'm just going to line my lids very faintly. just have to do that off camera because I really need my mirror to be able to see what I'm doing but that is how thin I've gone. It's nothing too big and I just find that I normally start from the middle of my eye and work outwards and then I join the inner corner into the middle rather than having to do a really long line because I feel like that's when you get a bit unsteady. And then while that dries a little bit because it is a liquid eyeliner i'm just gonna do my eyebrows so i'm using the anastasia beverly hills dip brow pomade pomade however you want to say it um i have the shade medium brown and then i'm just going to use this to thicken them up a little bit because they are a little bit sparse in places and now they're done and my eyeliner's dry i'm gonna go in with my mascara and it's the l'oreal panorama volume million lashes and i'm gonna use black today because obviously i've got black eyeliner on 
Um, if you watched my favourites video recently, you'll have seen that um, this was in that video. I absolutely love it. And I've also been using um, mascara, not mascara, eyelash growth serum. Um, and my lashes right now are ridiculously long. So that is just one coat. And I normally do two. So I do one eye, let that first coat dry, swap over to the next eye. And then once that's done, I go back to the original eye and add another layer on. So that's the second coat. It's just ridiculous. Such a good mascara. And then now it's just a couple of last little steps. So I'm going to add a bit of highlighter. This is the Charlotte Tilbury one, but you could use whatever you like. And then the final step, aside from setting spray, is just my lips. So I'm going to go with my favourite lip combo. So this is the Doll Beauty Lip Liner in You Go Girl. And then on top of that, I'm adding the Doll Beauty Lipstick in My Love. And then just a bit of gloss over the top. This is one that I got from TikTok Shop, but you could use any really. It's just kind of adds a bit of a pinky flush back in. So what I'll normally do is it Monday, Wednesday and Friday and Saturday, which is today actually, are gym days. So I will drop the kids off at school if they are at school that day. Um, then walk straight to the gym, go to the gym, come back, have a shower, and then I will do my makeup if I'm filming. If I'm just editing or I don't need to wear makeup particularly that day, then I would just stay like bare-faced and pick the kids up like this. Um, well, like this, like with nothing on. Um, but then otherwise, this is the makeup that I would do. And then the, the next day is like Tuesday, Thursday, I will just get up and do this makeup as normal, but I don't wash my hair on those days because I washed it the day before. And then on Sunday, it's highly unlikely that I'll wear anything at all unless we are going out or it's a special day like someone's birthday or like Mother's Day last weekend, but that is my bare-faced day where I just do skincare and let my skin breathe, and I love that. So that is the finished makeup look. I hope you enjoyed watching and you found it useful. I love watching things like this, especially because I can get like product recommendations off people. Um, it kind of inspires me for next time doing my makeup. But also don't forget to take advantage of the HelloFresh discount code if you are interested. I have decided while I've been doing my makeup, drum roll please, that we are going to have the easy gotcha chang pulled pork tacos because it's only three step prep, a lot of the stuff is already done for you and it's only 30 to 35 minutes which is just a lot easier, it's a Saturday night, I just want good food and I want to put my feet up and chill and it looks so good. What would you have chosen? You'll have to let me know in the comments but I will leave the discount code down below for you and hopefully you find that useful if you decide to give it a go. Have a lovely rest of your day and I'll hopefully see you all very very soon.